everyone welcome back to another video so for today's video we are doing something very different i've never done this before so yeah but i am very excited today we are going to be setting up some a5 binders yay yes i finally gave in to the whole a5 binder thing that's going on lately i've seen it all and at first i wasn't really interested in getting an a5 binder because for me personally i feel like my collections first of all are way too big for having like all a5 binders you know since they only fit like four photo cards and they're freaking tiny so i would literally need like 50 a5 binders i feel like so and also i don't know i just was never really interested i was just content with my nine pocket pages but as i saw more and more a5 binders like on youtube or instagram or whatever i just thought they were really cute so i thought i would just give it a chance and get a5 binders for like a very small portion of my collection so yes obviously i'm not gonna be switching all of my binders to A5 binders that will be absolutely ridiculous so yes it's only gonna be three binders for now but I may get more or maybe not maybe I'll just hate this and I'll just throw these all away I'm just kidding but yeah I just wanted to experiment and have fun you know because I thought these were really cute so yes today we are gonna be setting up A5 binders for three collections so as you can see obviously we have three binders here this first one is for txt which i'm very excited about i haven't set up my binder or stored any cards for txt yet because i wanted to dedicate this video for that collection so i will be putting my txt collection today this middle one is for nct not all of my nct cards but like some of it i'll explain it and then here is another new collection which is espa as you can see so yeah anyways for this video i don't know how this is gonna go like i said this is my first time ever doing something like this so we'll see as we get along with it but what i'm planning on doing is moving some photo cards from like my current binders to like these binders for like this collection setting up my binder for like my newer collections and whatnot so yeah let's just go ahead and get started i guess so i guess we shall start off with txt since this is the one i was the most excited about so yes we'll put these two aside hopefully this angle is okay the glare is like horrible but yes so for this first binder i did get this binder from yes style i will have a card below in the description with all the supplies that i use i included a section for my a5 binder so everything will be there so yeah just to let y'all know but i did get this binder from yes style i've actually had some complications because i originally ordered like two binders from yes style but i accidentally sent those to my dorm while i was living at home and then they never made it to me so i had to order this again which was really annoying but yes i finally have it it's really pretty it's like this glitter with this light blue gingham i think it's really pretty the only con is that it's super flimsy like as you can see when i like open it and stuff it's just very flimsy so i think i might replace this soon actually i kind of want to get the one with like the zipper you know i feel like those are a little more sturdy so i might change to that later but for now we have this one i know the beyond d binders are really popular but i don't really like those types of binders so i wanted to get something a little different so yes and as you can see here i did actually take the time to decorate the front like off camera because i felt like it would take too long so yes this is what i did with all these stickers and i also put this like little business card holder thingy it's something like this it's originally for business cards but i wanted to put like a photo card here for decoration so that's why i stuck this there so let's go ahead and open this binder like i said this is for my txt collection for which i collect subin for plus other miscellaneous txt collections so I feel like this is just so i hate that it's not like completely flat so i already hate this binder in specifically but yes for the four pocket pages i'm using these ones the brand is amifa and i got these from mercari japan you can actually like search this brand amifa and you'll find like a bunch of like pocket pages or you can join like a group order i also joined a group order for these so yeah that's how i got these pages so i'm gonna be using these ones i already like set aside the amount of pages i need so let's just slip these in here so yes those are our pocket pages and then in this little like acrylic box i have my photo card set up so yes we have a bunch of txt photo cards to put away finally so yes these are the photo cards that i've like pulled from like my albums pretty much all of these if you guys saw like my 
um, K-pop album, shopping vlog, whatever. These are the photo cards that I pulled, plus my Fighter Escape photo cards. So yes, we have quite a lot to put away. So obviously I'm collecting Subin, but I pretty much kept all my album pulls because I really like TXT. So I just decided to keep like the ones that I did pull and like buy the Subins I need. So that's why I have a bunch of extra. But anyways, I do kind of have like a system set up for this. And I actually also have more photo cards right here for my Baiyi haul, but I'm not going to put these away until my storing photo card video. So yeah, that'll be for next time. Starting with Freeze. Okay, so Freeze will start on this page. So we have, this is the U version. And for sleeving these cards, as you can see, I did double sleeve them. I don't know, for some reason, for these like A5 binders, I feel like double sleeving them look make them look a lot nicer. So that's why I don't double sleeve all my cards, but for this sake, I just did. So yeah, these are just thinner, like ultra pro sleeves. And then I double sleeve it with a dragon shield sleeve. And yeah, it makes the card stay like really nicely in the center. Honestly, it looks so nice. So yeah, I don't know. With this A5 binder, I just thought double sleeving would look a lot nicer. So yeah, that'll just go there. Oh yeah, also I'll just put like blank cards for the cards I'm not putting away today. So that like they have a space, you know, instead of just it being blank. Okay, and then the next page we have Fighter Escape. So I pretty much have all of his cards except for the Harley Quinn one, which I did buy in an upcoming Neo Kyo haul. So yeah, I did pull these, which was very lucky. Like I can't believe that happened, but we can go ahead and put these away. I'm so happy this is starting to finally come together. I've actually had these like A5 supplies for like a month or two, just waiting to make this video and it's finally happening. So I'm so excited. Right, hey. And then, okay, this setup is kind of weird though, because obviously I have this like OS card, if that's what it's called. And then this is the target like group card. I don't know what to put here yet. I was thinking of maybe putting like pre-order benefits or something, but I don't know for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and like, okay, instead of these, I'll put like actual white sleeves. Yeah, I don't know what to put here yet. So that'll be TBD. But then we get into, actually I need to skip a few pages for, oh my God, I keep hitting the camera. I need to skip a few pages for my txt like i mean subin non-album cards i don't know how many pages but let's just say that much <laughs> okay and then we have the rest of our txt cards that we've pulled so far i do have more on the way i bought some from my friend cat oh my god i almost called her cats i'm sorry pat <laughs> i bought some from my friend cat oh wait what the fuck pat what is wrong with me okay anyways <laughs> okay so let's just go ahead and put these away i did pull Yunjun's blue hour card. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just dying over the fact I said cats. I've been watching too much Victorious, clearly. And then I don't think I have any more blue hour cards on the way though. So I'm just gonna put these cards here for now. This will probably change in the future, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put these away like this. So there. <laughs> and then we have these um, OS cards from Freeze. I did buy Pumgyu's, so his will like complete the space. So yeah, that'll be nice. I don't really know the age order though, so hopefully this is right. <laughs> Minus Subin, because I'm going to put Subin's in his respective place. So yeah, hopefully this is the right age order. <laughs> Ta-da! And then we have these two fighter escape cards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put Yunjun's here. And then Taehyun's here. Yeah, I know it's not very exciting because I don't have too many TXT cards with me right now, but I will have more in the future. So stay tuned for my storing photo cards video. But yes, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, that was not very eventful, but yeah, this is what it looks like so far. It's so cute though, like honestly, I kind of love A5 binders because I kind of like mini things, you know? Is it just me? But yeah, it looks so cute. 
so toyne but yes that is that and then for this cover i actually did buy this uh weaver's pre to benefit from blue hour it's the clear like thingy so i thought i would go ahead and use this as the cover because it says like txt right here it has a picture of subin so i thought it was perfect if i can get this okay there oh wait what okay dun, 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 dun. isn't that like kind of perfect oh my gosh this kind of turned out really cute and when it's closed this is what it looks like yay and then it has this little loop for like a keychain i don't have like a perfect keychain to put here but i do have this one that a seller from makari japan gifted to me as like a freebie and it's pretty cute so i'm just gonna put it here for now i might get like a txt keychain in the future like a different one but i think this is pretty cute so yay oh my gosh our first official a5 binder yarish so from now on i will be putting away my txt cards in here and yeah okay one to go i mean one down so let's move on to the next binder so next up we have this green binder this is from uh amazon japan i actually bought this like not even to a proxy i just straight up bought it and shipped it to my house yeah it's like a cute little sanrio binder i actually saw this from randy because he bought this one and i bought the exact same one because nct's color is green so i wanted it to match but yeah it also has like a little pocket for a photo card already which is kind of perfect so we can like take that out the only thing that sucks about this binder though is that you can't add or take out pages it comes with like a set amount of pages so if I ever like run out of space, then I don't know what I would do. Maybe I'll like double sided or something, but for now, hopefully it doesn't like take up too much space. Okay, so if you're wondering what I'm gonna do in terms of like NTT, cause obviously I have an NTT binder right here. Thing is this binder is starting to get like super full. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like it's filled to the brim and all of these are like my mark cards plus like big inclusions. And obviously I'm gonna get a lot more mark cards in the future. So I just thought that this will mainly be like my mark stuff. Plus I'm gonna leave Geno in here because I collect like a lot of his cards. Like he's like the second to most collected member so i'm just gonna leave mark and geno in here plus also some like like ot9 sets like you can see these sets i'm gonna leave in here i'm gonna put chaehyun in the a5 binder since i don't collect like all of his cards just the ones i can so i thought he would go perfectly in there and then also my very sad Chan collection because sm is doing nothing with him he's just an mc like I know 2021 is coming, but like, can it come faster, please? That was a little inappropriate. Okay, anyways, and then I also have a bunch of these um, NCT Dream like OT7 sets minus Geno and Mark because I put them to their own pages, but I thought these would look better in an A5 binder because you can see they're like spaced awkwardly. And then also I have a bunch of like random NCT cards here, so I thought they would look nice in the A5 binder. It's just basically everyone except for Mark and Jeno. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and like take all of these cards out. See, now there's a lot more space for future cards. So, and there will be a lot of Mark cards coming in because, oh my God, I literally, SM needs to calm the fuck down with NCT merch because I literally joined like seven group orders from this one group order manager just for Mark merch and it's insane. And they're having a comeback soon. I'm literally gonna go nuts, but that's what it looks like, yaish. And now we just have all these like extra NCT cards. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly take all of these cards out. Maybe I should have left the pages in the binder because it's kind of hard to take these cards out. Oh my god, I'm so dumb.
Alrighty, I finally took out all the cards and I'm a little worried because, um, as you can see, this is kind of a lot <laughs> for this tiny little binder. So hopefully at least all of these fit. I mean, I know I'm not going to get like too many other NCT cards, maybe, but this is still like a lot. So I'm just praying this all fits. Anyways, first I will start off with Chaehyun Shar. I'm not sure which card I want to put as the cover. I guess we'll like find out later, but yeah. Anyways, okay, this needs like a wait. So let's just start. I'm not sure if I'm going to double sleeve all of these because this is kind of a lot of cards. So I don't know if I'll have like enough sleeves to double sleeve, but maybe I will in the future. Let's just go ahead and put these away. Hopefully this will be like satisfying, you know? Uh-oh. These are not going to be together. Oh no. Should I put the empathy cards here too? Maybe. I mean, they won't be together either. So whatever. I'm just going to put them all in order for now. Okay. Yeah. This binder is kind of annoying because like, it's not like it can't lay flat. So it's kind of a struggle, but the binder's cute at least. <laughs> Okay, the sleeve gets like stuck on this like border thingy, which is really annoying. Ooh, at least Neo Zone is gonna be all on one page. Except for I don't have his Kino yet. I still haven't had the chance to get his Kino. I think I might have to trade like my Taeyong Kino card for Chaehyun, so yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it's literally the last card I need right now, except for a sticker. Ooh, all of these cards are on one page too. Nice. So yeah, I'll probably just get like two more cards for sticker or maybe just put favorite here also. I don't know. Yeah, that's also TBD. <laughs> oh shoot, I just, was I not in frame that whole time? Oh my god, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm sorry if it wasn't. <laughs> okay, and then we have his like NCT like yearly projects. So 2018 and 2020. See, this is why I like to double sleeve sometimes, like, the cards just move a lot and it gets all crooked. Okay, we're like kind of halfway through this binder and I'm only done with like my Chaehyun collection, so uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried that this is not all gonna fit. Uh oh, should I like, should I leave some cards in the NCT binder then? It looks like I have to do that because I am running out of space. Oh no. Okay, so that's all of my Chaehyun cards. I definitely want to put Song Chan in this binder since his collection is so small. So yeah, I definitely will put Song Chan in here. But it's so sad. I really hope that he gets to do something soon because it's been way too long, seriously. Oh, why isn't this? This is an opening. Okay, so from here on the pockets open this way what why is it like that <laughs> um okay that's interesting so i guess i have to store them backwards <laughs> i was like wondering why it wasn't opening um okay then i mean from the top you can still like store it like this obviously since it's like double-sided but for the bottom two you have to put it in backwards like, I don't understand the point of it. <laughs> oh, and then I have these extra cards. Um, I'll just put them here, I guess. Also, I'm sorry if I keep moving the binder a lot. It's just that this is so small and so light, so it's really easy to like shift it. We still have all of these cards left and we only have one, two, three. We have five pages left. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, okay, so definitely I won't be able to put these cards away. I guess I'll like just leave these in my NCT binder, but maybe I can do, cause there's five members left. For dream right so what i was planning on doing was like putting one member like 
per page, kind of like this, you know? Because there's four of these cards per member. Maybe, okay, for now I will do that. I mean, I'm not even gonna like really touch this collection too much, you know? Like it's mainly for my extra NTT cards. So for like Chaehyun and Sungchan and stuff, hopefully there will be enough room. If not, then I'll have to take some of these cards out or like double scythe them. But for now they will fit, so yeah. <laughs> Ugh, this is the one thing that sucks about this binder is that there's a limit to it, so... Yeah, I really wish it was just like a normal like A5 binder so you can like add or take out pages, but life unfortunately does not work that way. <laughs> oh my god, I keep thinking that like the pocket opens in the front. God, I feel like this footage is gonna be so like shaky so sorry if <laughs> you get like dizzy or something because I keep freaking moving the binder and I'm not even like paying attention to the camera so sorry but yes I did collect OT7 for some of these cards like since these cards are kind of easy to get I was like why not since dreams like my favorite unit so yeah, also I really loved these these two eras, so for these cards, I bought like an OT7 set for the jewel cases, so I was able to collect all seven of the members for those. And then these like Cafe Dream and Dream Agent cards, they were really like inexpensive, so yeah. Whoa, shoot, I put this in the wrong order. Whoops. <laughs> supposed to be Chunla, right? Is this the right age order? I don't know. This is just the way it was set up, so hopefully it is. <laughs> I'm very bad with ages. Okay, and <laughs> now we've reached the end, so we I can't believe we've filled up this entire binder though, like, yeah. So, I don't know, I feel like I'll end up buying more A5 binders in the future, so yeah, these Sanrio binders are really cute, so I feel like I might like buy another one or two, so yeah, I'll probably end up putting those cards away then, like these cards, but for now, I'll have to put these back in my NTT binder since there's obviously no room but i'm glad that we were able to fit the chaehyun the sungchan and these dream cards because those were like my main goals for this so yeah also it's perfect how all the chaehyun cards stop like right here it's like a divider <laughs> and then as for the card i'm gonna put on the front this toyong card's really cute but toyong is not in this binder okay for now i decided to put this bunny toyong card that i pulled i know toyong isn't even in this binder but it's still nct okay so also i thought this photo card is super cute and it's like animal themed also there's like green right here so yeah i'm gonna put this card in it fits a dragon shield sleeve kind of which is nice Ta-da! Look at how cute- and I don't even need to decorate this since it's like already decorated. Wait, this is actually so cute! Oh my god. So I guess we can do like a mini little like flip through. Also, I love how there's pockets here, so if I, if I have like bigger inclusions, I can like stick them in there. But yes, this is my completed NCT A5 binder. It's so cute! So yes. Then we have Resonance some extra cards and then we have Sung Chan. I love how it like fits on one page though like this is part one, part two, extra cards and then the leftover like OT7 dream cards. Also love how this all fits on one page. But yeah that was it okay cute so Yes, let's move on to our last A5 binder. Okay, and last but not least, we have my Espa A5 binder. So yeah, I decided that I was gonna put my Espa photo cards in their own separate like A5 binder instead of in like my girl groups binder. I don't know, I just thought it would be cute, you know? Like, so that's why I decided to put them in an A5 binder. It's my newest edition, so I just thought, why not? So yeah. For this A5 binder, this is actually like an A5 like planner. I literally got this off Amazon. It's nothing like too special, 
but honestly I really like this A5 binder though because like it's like nice and like hard cover it's pretty large it has this like magnetic clasp and if you open it it has like all these pockets and I feel like you can use this to like put like big conclusions and stuff like that so yeah honestly like this is like the least fanciest one but it's like the best one in my opinion in terms of like quality so I was pleasantly surprised so again I got this from Amazon it's gonna be linked down below so yeah and also please ignore this like decor I literally didn't know what to do like I didn't know how to decorate it so this is not the final decoration so uh don't judge me i just literally use the like album stickers like randomly so yeah it'll probably change i might want to do like another like sticker border thingy so yeah we'll see but anyways i have the pocket pages and then we also have my espa cards that i have so i actually went out and bought more copies of espa's album <laughs> besides my unboxing copies so there might be some like photo cards you haven't seen in here but i do have like my stack of photo cards and then i also went ahead and like made these like place holders or like space fillers so that you know i know like which photo card is gonna go where so yeah i literally did all the planning beforehand so yeah we can go ahead and first put the pages in I feel like honestly putting my Espa collection in the A5 binder is gonna look really cute like I don't know I think A5 binders are so cute clearly so yeah but anyways this setup is honestly gonna be like pretty random like I don't know if this is gonna be like the best setup but I guess I'm gonna do it for now um I originally was gonna collect like two members and I was gonna put like you know one member here and one member here so it's like one member the other one the other so on so forth but i just wanted to collect more espa cards i freaking love espa like i don't know if y'all can tell but espa is like slowly starting to like climb on my alt list possibly becoming an alt girl group like that's how much i love them so yeah like i just want to collect as many espa, espa cards as possible so yeah <laughs> so for now my setup is gonna be like separated by like members so yeah, it's gonna be like Karina on like her own section and then like Winter naming, you get the gist. So yeah, and obviously they only have one album right now. So yeah, I feel like now's the perfect time to start collecting a lot of ESPA members because they don't have a lot of photo cards yet. So that's why I'm doing this now. And then as for like merch cards and like non-album cards, I'm just gonna try and like stick to only collecting Karina since she is my bias and like I said, Espa cards are freaking expensive, so the merch cards are like twice as expensive. So yeah, I did already buy like all of like uh, Karina's like merch cards and stuff. It's just on the way from Korea, so I'm still waiting on that. But I'll like leave some space. But anyways, I should like stop talking now. So yeah, first we have her hallucination quest. This photo card is literally so gorgeous. It's probably my favorite card ever. Like, girl, she is too pretty, so... And also I did double sleeve because like I said, I like the way double sleeves cards look in the A5 binder for some reason. And then we have the Hallucination Lenti, which I didn't pull. <laughs> I didn't pull that many Kanina cards, so yeah. And then we have her Sink Dive Selfie, Sink Dive Lenti. Okay, this thing is kind of annoying. And then we have another gorgeous card. This card is so pretty that I pulled. It's in like this like webbed outfit and then we have the AR card so yeah it kind of bugs me that there's a space here but again like this is their first album so you know this will this could be like room for like a future album you know so for now I'm just gonna like stick some like white sleeves in here so yeah <laughs> that's basically how it's gonna go like I'm just gonna separate it by like members for now so Moving on, we have Winter. I was very Winter blessed, so I have her Hallucination Quest set, which is nice. And then I pulled this card twice, actually. So yeah, in my extra copies that I didn't open on camera, I literally, for the Sync Dive version, I got the same exact pull. So yeah. <laughs> and then her Sync Dive Lenti. And then I didn't pull any of her like um, AR stuff. Wait, the 
the case version. That's what I meant to say, the POS version. You get what, you know what I mean, so yeah. And then we'll just stick these in. And then we move on to Ning Ning. So we need to put a space for her hallucination set. I mean, I pulled the lenti, so yeah. And then sink dive. Again, I pulled this lenti again. And then, oh, I have her case set. Nice. And then charter. So yeah, that's literally it. Obviously, it's not that much, but again, I do have some cards, like, not in this video, so yeah. And then I'm gonna leave some, like, extra pages here because I do have some, like, non-album cards, you know? Like, I have merch cards on the way. I have my SM Global Shop cards, so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave these, like, blank here for now. And yeah, that's literally it, <laughs> honestly. And then as for this photo card... I am gonna put this photo card for now because literally, again, this is from like my extra like albums that I bought, but do y'all see this? Like, I don't know how the hell this happened, but yeah, like literally, as you can see, there's like a glossy like film that they put on. And then for some reason it got like rolled up or like bent here. So you can see it's like horrible. Like this damage is so bad. Like I don't even know how they let this like in an album but of course i had to get this photo card and then you can even see it on the back too like the it's so dented so yeah i don't like i would trade this for a member i need but like pretty sure no one wants this horribly damaged photo card so even like selling this would be like no so yeah i mean unless i think i need winter's equivalent of this so if you want to trade for winter's paw selfie Definitely hit me up because I'm so down to trade, but I'm pretty sure, again, no one wants this hella damaged card. So for now, I'm just going to use this as like a cover, which is kind of perfect because like I said, cutting it is my bias. So like, I mean, you can't really notice it. Never mind, that's a lie. But for now, it'll just live on the front here. Again, I think I might like decorate like the border with like purple stickers like I did with my Subin binder. But yeah, that is it for now. So let's go ahead and do a quick little flip through. Again, I might like put like postcards here or something, but yeah. So this is the current setup. It looks so pretty. I honestly can't wait for it to like fill up all the way. Hopefully I'm able to, you know, actually collect <laughs> these members. So yeah, we'll see. But anyways, yeah, that is it for this video. That was very short and sweet. So yes, that was my video of me setting up my new A5 binders. I am so happy, honestly, with how these came out and like just starting to collect, I mean, like use A5 binders for my collection. Like I said, I've always seen like A5 binders literally freaking everywhere and low key, I've got FOMO. So yeah, I'm really glad that I was able to do this. I honestly might get like more a5 binders in the future for some of my collections. I'm not going to replace my entire collection with A5 binders. Obviously, that's ridiculous, but like for like my smaller collections and whatnot, maybe I'll do it. So yeah, stay tuned for that if I ever get more. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.